on, come on, Nora. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Hello to all the hair besties in the land. You guys, our artistic team member, Nora, our model, Mary, and we're gonna do a fun transformation with the superpower direct dye. Are you a virgin? I'm not accusing you, I just, it, it looks so pretty, like it has some it's color. It's my natural hair. Okay, when the, when the lightener and the bleach goes on there and something comes out. We'll know the truth. You ready? Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Mary, somehow I still don't believe this is all virgin. I see color there. Like my eyes, I have like x-ray vision. You know, I can see through things and I, I'm seeing something. Let me ask you, when's the last time you colored your hair? I mean, like a, a year and a half. Okay, that's not a virgin because on average the hair grows six inches a year and there's more than six inches here. So that means about this much of the bottom is probably not for she, We're calling her out, she's upset at us now. Oh no, but it's not her fault because I think a lot of clients think that their hair is virgin because they haven't colored it in so long mm -hmm. or they think their hair is virgin because they dyed it back to their natural color. But the truth is there is still chemicals on your hair. Yeah. So your hair is not gonna react like virgin hair. So what's gonna happen is when we lift it, it's gonna turn orangey and brassy and there's gonna be banding involved. But sometimes you could be virgin in the back, but not the front. <laughs> Let's see if something paranormal happens. Let's get started. Oh. I'm gonna have to use big nine on her. I feel like she's gonna need to be lifted as light as possible. No, I'm like, feels... is my hair gonna like fall out? <laughs> no, her hair is not gonna fall out. Oh yeah. my gosh, oh my gosh, that client. Okay, we're gonna do hybrid consistency. I'm gonna do about 50 grams. 40 volume, dedicated developer is key here. One to two ratio. So I'm gonna add big nine. Ooh, there's a seal huh. to keep it nice and fresh. Extra protection. Extra protection. Big nine offers nine levels of lift. Magnum eight offers eight levels of lift. I like mixing them together to get a hybrid consistency. I feel it's very important to use a whisk versus a brush. And a silicone whisk because if there is metal, it could have a reaction with any chemical you just don't know. So it's better to use silicone or rubber whisks. What I love about the hybrid consistency is you get that loose control with Magnum 8, where it's like a little bit more flowy and it penetrates, but then you also get that creamy, uh, luxurious texture. Here we go, you ready to get started? Do it. So when you guys look at Mary's hair here, this is where I see her hair is virgin, and this is where I see that there's previous color here, and I see some old, lighter highlights that have been put in through the ends. Mary? Turn around here. <laughs> she, are, are, you're, you're a faux virgin. I'm faux virgin. And are apparently. You, yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, you're a faux virgin. Now Our clients don't know because they haven't colored her in a long time. But we are going to give her almost like an ombre balayage type of feel. But it's not going to be balayage. We're going to use foils, please. So we're going to spin her around. Let's get started. All right. So our first sectioning. Okay. We're going to do a back comb over the rector hair down, and just do one push. So we are going to paint on the foil, okay? So that gives adherence. But notice that when I do paint on the foil, I don't paint a straight line. I paint a V or a W. This will help create a more smoother application underneath so you don't get a harsh demarcation line. Place the foil right underneath it, but take notice that I am stroking the lightener on vertically right through the top area. And I am taking the the highlight lower. I feel like the nape area, you should keep dark and create a curvature. When she does turn her head to the side, it curves with her skeletal structure, her skull. And I have to say, this consistency, guys, I'm so obsessed with. I mean, it's so whipped. It's so smooth when you mix the Magnum 8 with the Big 9. I mean, look at that. It looks like whipped cream. That's one thing I love about Magnum 8. You're able to penetrate all the way through the hair and get ease of application to where you're working smarter and not harder, right? Now, overlaying the foil is key point here. Not only does it look aesthetically more attractive, if I need to cross check and open up the bottom of the foil, I'm able to have access to it and not worry about ripping and having, you know, the foil tear. So I'm gonna repeat this clip, elevate it up 90 degrees to get more of a blend. So you'll see me do one push, 
and you want to be able to see through the hair because if it's too thick, the product won't penetrate. And I feel like we are going to encounter some paranormal hair activity situations. So I feel that if I, if her hair was fully virgin, I'd probably do 30. But I think the worst thing to do is make our clients feel like they're liars. I think it doesn't feel good. Mary? No. Mary, let's spin you around so you can say it to people's face. Does it feel good when you, when, when a stylist accuses you? No. <laughs> no? It's traumatizing. Did, okay, okay. First of all, when I first said, okay, are you lying to me? Did it kind of make you feel embarrassed a little bit? Well, then I started to like wonder like, yeah, you know, you start to like get more nervous and like, oh, did I do something like really wrong? I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. Aww. Will you forgive me? Of course. We only ask because we care. We care. I just want you so to be we pretty. Want it for I know, like, this way my color. hair won't fall out. Yeah, I don't, I don't want your hair to fall out. <laughs> Please forgive me. I know now what I do. Please forgive me. I can't stop loving you. <laughs> the worst thing to do is like you think you're done processing and then there's one spot that didn't lift, right? Because you didn't penetrate all the way through. So I'm always extra anal when it comes to penetrating. <laughs> if you want to highlight and accentuate the curvature of her head, bring the foil up higher right behind her ear where the curve of her head starts, okay? So you have to take a little bit of a thinner section to be able to do that. And if you want maximum blending, I elevate the hair 180 all the way up. You can back comb it closer to the scalp edge, right? And then bring it back down and tuck it all the way up. Over directing or taking it all the way 180, you get more diffusion. And to make sure you don't get any demarcation line, pack the product on low and then stroke it up high. And then the next section above this, I'm actually gonna take it back low again. So you have low, high, low, high. So I'm just gonna repeat this all the way up to the top of her head, the sides, and then we'll be right back. All right, so now we are done with the back of Mary's head here. When working along the sides, I feel it's very important to section the hair parallel to her parting and her hairline, right? So I am just gonna over direct her hair forward and we're gonna back comb it in into her routage there. Apply the hybrid lightener and make sure you penetrate all the way through. I'm just gonna repeat this till I reach the back and then I'm gonna drop some lower so that way not everything's all the way high up to her scalp. And then around the face frame, I'm gonna hit her closer to the face frame and then the back, I'm gonna drag it lower so she has a little bit of that ombre feel. You guys, Mary is back and look how blonde she is. It wasn't so bad after all. You know, gotta trust the process. But we got some direct dyes, super power. I'm so excited. Where are the boxes? Let me go get it. I got Purple Raven. Super power, direct dye. I'm very are. excited. I have this magenta magic and I can't wait to see what magic we create. Lauren is a little bit nervous or excited? Oh, Mary is a little bit nervous. No, wait. Mary. What did I call her? The Lauren. Oh, how? What is wrong with me? I call you the wrong name. See, you, 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 you lied to me. <laughs> that you were a virgin, <laughs> and I call you by another woman's name. Shame on me. It's, Whoops. It's like, it's like, wait, that's not my name. Oh, uh, oh, Lauren, you're amazing. No, Lauren. I'm Mary. I screwed up, okay. All right, guys, we are back. Are you ready to get started? Yes. All right, ha! Ah, pull it over. So as you guys know, it's about being a superhero. The pigments are super pigmented. Okay, look at this. Oh my gosh. Ooh. This <gasps> is the purple raven. Oh, I love it. Could you imagine if that was Cry. your boyfriend? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. If your boyfriend call you another woman's name. I would just. All right, we're gonna apply the purple raven. Ooh, look at that. Get it, Nora. Let's get her together. Yeah. The pigment is so vibrant and deep. And it so I'm actually gonna turn her slightly so you guys can see me spread her open. Mm -hmm. Gotta spread her open, guys. I'm going all over, but because I am using two formulas, I am gonna do a color melt melting from Purple Raven into Magenta Magic. Okay. It makes it a lot easier to section and it gives a more cleaner application. What, what's some of your secret for direct dyes application? I like to mix the different tones together, like mixing the vibrant pastels with these, I think would be beautiful. Yes. Or to smoke out like Purple Raven, I would probably like to mix it with a little charcoal. You can mix any of the colors together. If you want to put Magenta Magic with the Purple Raven, if you want to put the Purple Raven with the Blue Mystique, you be creative. Mix however you want. 
But what's really cool is that the Super Power Direct dyes actually last a long, long time. It's That's so, true. It's so pigmented that even with warm water, you'd be surprised how long it lasts. But I always still recommend cool water just because why not make it last even longer if you can, right? So Mary, what are your biggest challenges in life? For me and probably a lot of people would just be like dealing with depression and anxiety. Depression? Anxiety? Yeah. If you're like in like the modeling acting world, it's kind of like people like see you look a certain way and you have to act a certain way and they don't necessarily believe that you probably deal with those things. It's so interesting that you say that because a lot of people will just look at you and say, what kind of depression can you have, right? They'll judge you just from your appearance or maybe because you're a model, they don't think that you have you know, anxiety. Yeah, you know. mm-hmm. Like if you're having photos taken all day, you shouldn't like. Ah. If anything, that should make you even more. Yeah, like. Right? Yeah. <laughs> because you're always like in the eye of the camera. Yeah. Everyone's looking at you, everyone's judging you. And it's like, good is never good enough. If anything, Mary, I'm just gonna compliment you the whole entire time so you won't have any more anxiety. Aww. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you how beautiful <laughs> you are, okay? And you're talking about Instagram. Tell me about how you feel about that. Instagram. I do. I like a lot of aspects of Instagram. I've actually made a lot of friends off of Instagram, which is awesome. But there's like the, I don't know, you know, you're just like surfing constantly and looking at other models' photos and looking at other people's and seeing who's doing, you know, more work or who got a campaign or whatever. And it does affect you in some way. Because you feel like you're not good enough, correct? Yeah. Or, your work. It's interesting, yeah. You could have worked like, you know, five, di five days that week or something and someone happens to be working on a day that you're not and all of a sudden it's like, oh shit. You know what I do? I start following things that make me feel good. I'll be honest, I love looking at muscular guys because it inspired me to go to the gym versus looking at things that make you feel, you know, unworthy. A or... lot of times though, we have to remember it's not the real world. People only show you on there what they want you to see of their real lives. And sometimes people are overcompensating. So you can't feel less about yourself because of what so somebody true. else is putting on theirs. You don't know what's real anymore because everyone's getting paid on there to say something. They're selling teeth whiteners and, and fit tummy. Uh, yeah, st that. stuff, stuff to lose weight on your stomach and stuff like that, which is fine. That's what you want to do. But then I start to feel like, well, how can I trust this person I'm following anymore? So, you know? since we're using superpower color, okay. if you could have any superpower, what would it be? <gasps> Flying. Uh, see, everyone, uh, every, everyone wanna wants to fly. <laughs> okay, I want to fly too, because I want to be like Supergirl. Yes. I want to be like Supergirl, not Superman, because I like to support women, strong, powerful women. Okay, that's my thing here. <laughs> I love that about you. I mm. always love supporting women. I think one of the biggest, heroes and my life is my mom. You know, something I always say, with great power comes with great responsibility, right? Just because you have powers, it's like, what will you, what will you do with it? I feel like once you give someone a little bit of power, they get carried away, they get a power trip, and they think there's, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Th then they do evil with it, so. It's like in the in the movies and stuff, you've got the superhero and then you've got the villain. They both have superpowers, but they use it differently. Some use it to help people and some use it to help themselves. Having powers is about changing lives, about changing the world, and that's what we're about. It feels good to do something for others other than yourself. 100%. So, what would you do with your flying power? Powers. My flying powers? Mm, oh, I don't know. Fly around. <laughs> <laughs> Fly around. After after we do your hair, you're gonna have all types of superpowers. I think so. <laughs> right? You're gonna get you you won't have anxiety no more. And I think that anytime you change your hair slightly, you're always gonna be like, oh my god, do I look like this? Do I look like that? Mm -hmm. But always search from within. Know the hero lies in you. Ooh. Yes. So deep. Yes. And there's a song. There's a hero. If you look inside your heart, you don't have to be afraid of what you are. <laughs> That's, That's for you. Woo. That's for you. It never gets old. I feel like a lot of answers lie inside. Like, really, if you just trust your intuition, things mm -hmm. fall into place. Absolutely. So, we, after we apply the purple raven, we're going to go down with the purple. I'm sorry. We're we gonna go down with the magenta magic. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back. 
All right, so I'm applying Magenta Magic Superpower Direct Dye right now on her ends. And what you'll see me do during a color melting is that I'll apply it on the ends first so it gets the pure pigment on its own, but now I'll, I'll kind of sweep it up and blur the two tones together. What I find is that when you add a little bit of magenta into the purple, it actually gives it more, even more richness. It's a different type of tone when they intermix together. So I'm gonna let her process for 20 minutes and we'll be back, I can't wait. Like a virgin, hey, touch for the very first time. <laughs> you think we're crazy. <laughs> we okay, think we got moves, okay. right? She's got some moves. Chi, ya, ya, ta, ta. <laughs> she got superpowers here, guys. And it was a little bit of paranormal activity situation, but apparently you have something paranormal you want to show us. Oh, it's true. Okay, let's see this. I've got a few dance moves on my own. Okay, I'm gonna step back. Okay, what's going on? Yeah. What's going on? What is she gonna what do? What's she gonna do? I don't know. <gasps> oh! 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 I can't. Ah! Does that hurt? How is that possible? You got superpowers. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> you guys, she's like elastic woman or mm. something. Something mm. we've never seen before. You guys, take a look at her hair, right? Her routage is everything. It's incorporating her natural, right, Nora? It's such a beautiful blend. I feel like it's fun, but it's so wearable. Leaving that shadow root in her natural color, when you deposit the superpower colors, is so pigmented that it even shifts the, like, not shift, but like add a tone to it to give it more smoke. And then, how do you feel about that purple raven, though? It's like the Pantone, yeah, Pantone of this year. color of the year, ultraviolet. <laughs> right? She's right here. And that magenta is everything, guys. Like, what we did was we blur that purple into the magenta, so it has that almost like a berry tone. So it's up to you. Do you want to separate the tones or do you want to blend the tones together, right? So and I can't imagine even adding a flicker of this to Lavender Lust, for <gasps> example. Oh, my gosh. How do you feel? Oh, I love it. You're just like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm myself again. <laughs> yourself. You've always been yourself, but now I now feel you're like extra. enhanced, I guess. You, you are so beautiful. And we mm -hmm. are clowns. You and I are clowns. <laughs> we thought we could but dance, like, but apparently like a nothing. Virgin. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Can't believe you made me do that, by the way. I love it. Hey, we're having a good time. We are. It's I fun. made you. It's okay, fun. guys, click. Thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and you can stalk Nora as well. Provide their links below, and love you guys much. Don't forget to subscribe. Do -do -do -do.